Hi, Dedicated fans. I am so excited to share with you some of the generative AI capabilities that ThoughtSpot has already begun shipping. Now, some of our competitors talk about what's coming and might show you some slideware. We announced ThoughtSpot Sage back in March and began shipping in May. A large portion of our customers are already using this against their production data. As we show you this, I want you to pay attention to just how far we leverage large language models. We use it to prompt you for AI-generated insights. We also use it to enable natural language search against our patented proven search model. So no hallucinations ever. We also give you natural language descriptions and in-app support because we are fully cloud the AI-powered analytics platform. To have you bring this to life, let me introduce my colleagues, Santiago Pombo, Director of Product Management. Thank you, Cindy. For the sakes of this demo, let's pretend that I am a knowledge worker at a retail apparel company. I've just been given access to ThoughtSpot. And as you mentioned, one of the powerful things about our integration with LLMs is that as a user, I can immediately understand what type of questions I can ask of the data source that I have access to. So for example, in this case, I can ask questions like, what is the average quantity purchase for each product? Or what is the average quantity purchase for each region? As a retail worker, I'm going to ask a more pointed question. Like, for example, what are the top five zip codes sold that have sold the most skirts? When we are generating the AI answer, you will notice that the system intelligently selected the best possible chart to visualize the question that I asked. The second thing that you mentioned is that the LLM can provide a few features around the interpretability of the results. So in this case, not only do I get an, a clickable interactive chart where I can see the actual results, but I also get a natural language description of the answer that helps me better understand what the answer is as well as our patented search tokens, which helped me very clearly understand how the search answer was constructed. So in this case, I can see that it refers to the quantity purchased. It used the delimiter top five. It is filtering by zip codes and by item time skirt. This layer of interpretability is critical when you are using probabilistic systems like the LLMs. In addition, we have very much kept in touch with our users and we wanna make them steer the answers of the LLMs through usage. And that's why we provide this feedback affordance, which essentially reinforces your own uh, preferences to the system. If I give it a thumbs up, we will remember this association for future questions so that anytime you ask questions about zip codes or so on, we can get the right columns and filter values. Similarly, if you give us negative feedback, we will take that into consideration for future questions that you ask. And finally, we believe that the work that your professional analysts and power users and your organization have done is incredibly valuable. So alongside the AI-generated answer, we will also showcase human-created content that might be relevant to answering your question so that you can compare and contrast AI-generated content with human professional-generated uh, content inside of your ThoughtSpot instance. Thank, Thank you, you for your consideration. Thank you, Santiago. I know that was a quick, quick flyby. Don't take just our word for this. Think about some of the legendary industry analysts like Donald Farmer, who described that this is the first serious enterprise integration of large language models that he's seen in the market. Or listen to our customers like Pepsi, Goldcast, or Chick-fil-A, who have talked about how ThoughtSpot Sage also furthers creating a data-driven organization and improving data literacy. Better yet, try it for yourself at thoughtspot.com slash free trial. Have a great day, everyone.